In the dead of night, Indian Army personnel struggle to clear a fallen tree from a Mumbai road. Since the weekend, when Cyclone Tokhtea first made landfall, scenes like this have been repeated up and down India's battered western coast. The biggest storm in decades has left a trail of destruction. In Mumbai on Monday, powerful winds and driving rain forced authorities to close the city's airport, a major hub for the country. For weather analysts, cyclones like this could become the new norm for the region. Storms and cyclones draw their energy from warm ocean waters. And now what is happening? The Arabian Sea temperatures, the ocean surface temperatures are warming rapidly. And that has resulted in this sudden spurt of uh, uh, you know, storms and cyclones forming over the Arabian Sea in the, in the recent decades. The cyclone couldn't come at a worse time for India's west coast. It had only just begun to see a slight decline in coronavirus cases after a deadly surge that pushed hospitals to breaking point. The country has been rocked by a deadly second wave that has led to more than 25 million infections. Despite the spiralling death toll, Prime Minister Narendra Modi refused to impose a nationwide lockdown. Now, hospitals in the cyclone's path have had to evacuate patients and officials have been working to make sure critically low oxygen supplies won't be affected. In several areas, the catastrophic weather has brought vaccine rollouts grinding to a halt.